Hello, it is Throwback Thursday, January 7th, 2021. Steve Cypress here in front of a fantastic Christmas gift that Santa brought me by way of my beautiful wife, Michelle. It's this very cool framed poster of the old Shea Stadium, former original home of the New York Mets. Built in 1964 and they knocked it down in 2008 and it's got all kinds of facts and figures and all kinds of memories here for Throwback Thursday. And it leads to the point that I'm a Mets fan. I'm a lifelong loyal Mets fan, no matter how much they stink and how many times they've come in last place and how many embarrassing moves their crappy ownership and management has made over the decades and no matter what players do what things and, you know, cheating and doing drugs and whatever, you know, just doesn't matter. And it's, that's the same way for many sports fans, that they're fans of the team. The players come and go. Sometimes they win, sometimes they lose, but they keep spending their money. They keep wearing the gear. I've got all kinds of just some of my Mets stuff over here. I decided to put this little table up with some Mets stuff on it below the Mets poster on the wall. And uh, people know that uh, besides getting me a rhino, what they can get me for a gift, if they ever wonder, is pretty much anything that says Mets on it. I haven't lived in New York in, I don't know, over 40 years, but I've follow the Mets everywhere I've gone. I remember back in the days before uh, cable TV was all over when it first started coming out and WOR New York, the TV station that carried the Mets games was on national cable. I had to have cable put in and I paid money for cable to be laid from the street to an office building in, a, in an apartment where I lived. And I, and I searched for apartments based on, do they have cable? Man, that's going back like 40 years. But I insisted because I had to watch the Mets games. I had to follow my team. Spent a lot of money and a lot of time. And always, no matter what city I've been in, I made the pilgrimage to the local Major League Baseball stadium every year when the Mets come into town. So I spent a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of energy over the years on the Mets. And they stink as a franchise overall. So that's the power of branding. And you see it in sports. You see it all over the place. Uh, people, you know, painting their face colors and, 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 and wearing all kinds of gear all the time, no matter what. You see it in the NFL. I personally haven't watched an NFL game in over three years, but I know people that call themselves patriotic and they love the country, and yet they, they're still addicted to following a game where the players themselves disrespect the country and disrespect themselves right in front of them. I mean, I, like I say, if I went out to dinner in a restaurant and the waiter came over and said, can I take your order? And I said, yeah, sure. And they said, hang on one second. First, I'm going to kneel during the national anthem and disrespect the flag and the national anthem. I mean, would I sit there and order the food? I, I'd be out of there in two seconds. Uh, but the power of the addiction, that branding is so powerful. Pay attention, business owners and entrepreneurs, to what sports teams do to get that rabid following, that amazing loyalty. You can do the same in your business. Your business doesn't have to be a sports team to build loyalty and to build that kind of powerful following. Uh, you see the same right now on social media. Look at Facebook. All kinds of conservatives getting all kinds of disrespect, getting banned off of Facebook. I see some people posting like they're unable to post a video they can't post a link to something. Facebook, well, Facebook, obviously, I mean, they're a private company. They do what they want. And obviously, they're a left-leaning business, just like the commissioner of the NFL. So that's the way they're going to lean. So, But you have conservatives continuing to, to use it, but complaining about it. Like, that's the power. Facebook has built that powerful brand that, fairly monopolistic brand in the space. Uh, Google, the same way. Google manipulates its search results, uh, uh, the, the skewed the way they want, the tremendously liberal organization, and yet conservatives still use Google, use Google Docs, and 
Google Sheets and Gmail and whatever. Like That's the power of branding. You want that in your business. I'm not saying you want to be evil and horrible in your business like like uh, Facebook and Google and not other companies like that. But you want that branding. You want that loyalty. So even the people that hate it still use it. Imagine the people that love it. So I've done that with companies over the years. I've helped people do that over the years. Uh, you want help from me, go to help from helpfromsteve.com. I'll help you out how to, uh, the steps you can take. It's basically, I can tell you in a nutshell, uh, you know, it's different for every business, but in a nutshell, it's got a lot to do with uh, how much you care. I know you probably want some, some fancy secret trick to it, but it's really about how much you care about your people is the number one step. If you really care about your customers, your patients, your clients, your members, and you always think about and do as much as possible what's right for them. Once in a while, we all slip up and make a mistake, but not meaningfully. We never mean to rip them off. We never mean to mislead them. We need to never mean to trick them. Uh, that kills your brand. Okay, you love your people is step number one. And there's a lot more to it than that. So I'll be back here every day to help you with stuff like that, to help you build your business. 2021 is going to be a phenomenal business building year for sharp entrepreneurs. For most of the people, it's going to be a dreadful, horribly difficult, miserable year. So hopefully you choose to be a sharp entrepreneur. And that'll do it for Throwback Thursday. Let's go Mets. And let's go out of here. I'll catch you tomorrow on Foundation Friday over and out. Bye-bye.